talk about effects and how we can maybe manipulate and build them in ways that uh, give us a little more control. So I'm going to start by making a new comp. And again, just make it black with a background. I'm going to do the standard HDTV square pixels. Um, name it effects. And um, I'm going to drop one of these images into this comp. I'm going to scale this down so we have a pretty good size of what we can see. Okay. And then let's add a lens flare to it. So I'm just going to type in lens in my effects and presets and double click on that. Oh. Let's select the layer and double click there. Now it's added that effects um, to that layer. You can see that I've got a flare center that I can move around. That changes its position. We can move it. Oops. Make sure you stay on the on the effect and not on the layer. You can see that we could increase the brightness. You can also increase or decrease how much it blends with the original, as well as what kind of lens reflection we might be getting. So that can change the dynamics there. Um, so that gives us quite a bit of effect and we can make that work, but Let's say I wanted this to kind of mimic the idea of maybe like a supernova or something kind of exploding as these gases collide. Um, and what I want to do is maybe get rid of some of that sharpness of that lens reflection because it's kind of reflecting off of that lens. So if I added a blur to it, The box blur and then increase the blur radius. The problem that that has is that's also applying that blur to my image, that whole layer. And so what I'd like to do is kind of separate the two to where I can have my effects on one layer and my image on another. So what I'm going to do is just turn those two off and so you can just click off this uh, effects, the FX button, and that will disable those. And uh, what I'm going to do is make a new solid. And one thing that I like to do is um, with this, because I'm going to use a, a black solid, and I'm going to actually make the I'm going to lock the aspect ratio, but I'm going to make the solid larger than the composition. You can make it comp size, but I'm going to make it larger and then hit OK. And what that's going to do is if I apply those other effects, so I can add the box blur and the, um, the lens flare, and then I want to have the lens flare on top. And you can see now I have the lens flare, and I can move this around. Uh, and the fact that it's larger than the composition, uh, I can also move the actual composition around as well and scale it and all of those lovely transformation parameters. But you're wondering, like, well, what about all this black edge? Well, that's where the blending mode comes in. Anytime we're using kind of these light, and we're adding light to things, we can use these add light and screen, and it'll knock out a lot of the black. So that can be really handy. Um, but you can see I'm already getting a better looking effect, especially as it kind of interacts um, with what's going on there. And now if I want to blur this, you know, the flare, 
So now I have the blur there and I can just increase the blur. And notice that it, it's blurring the effect, but it's not blurring the image below. And so that gives me a lot of control. So you can see I can kind of create these more strange kind of lights that are moving around. And then you could animate that over time. So maybe the flare brightness is at uh, zero. And then it pops. Again. And then maybe we have it a little bit more. Let's see how that works. Pretty nice. So again, it just gives you a lot of control uh, using a black solid and using one of the additive, the lighting screen, color dodge, those kinds of things. And give you a lot more dynamic um, 